group of young cartoon animators recently left the Disney Studios in an attempt to help reclaim some of the past. Their first achievement was a feature film entitled The Secret of Nim, directed by Don Bluth. We left the Disney Studio in 1979, and when I say we, it means I have two very fine friends and producers, John Palmer and Gary Goldman, and we left there with several other people. There were 14 others, 17 also, uh, with the idea that we would try to revive some of the production values that we were used to seeing when we grew up as kids. Secret of Nim was our attempt to revive many of the old ideas that Disney put in his early pictures. Things like shadows under the characters, like sparkles on the water, like multiple passes through the camera, transparent looks, all the magic that I knew was animation. And we wanted to see if we could make the thing uh, exciting as a story, if we could make it visually thrilling to look at, and if actually someone would be moved by it. When you're working on a feature film and you have 20 animators, making all of those animators draw one single character so it looks like one man drew it is very difficult. Uh, as much as we try and make a model sheet that describes a formula way of drawing the character, as much as we might try and talk about the personality of the character, how he thinks or she thinks, how he feels in his heart, what he's frightened of, all the profiles that an actor might read about in his role, it seems that you never quite can perfect it among all of those different artists because they're not really on the stage using their body to act. They have a pencil in their hand. And with that pencil, they draw it rather than act it. But the goal is absolutely the same as an actor's goal. How can I play a part in a dramatic role or in a dramatic piece and make it convincing to an audience? An audience is going to sit there and they don't know anything about animation or how we do this and maybe they don't care, but as they, they walk into the theater and sit down, they want to be moved emotionally by what they look at or they'll go away quite unhappy and won't come back. Um, so we talk to each animator and we get together in groups and we say, let us all try to be good actors. And I, I point to one guy over there that I know very well and I say, John, you're very good at the dramatic and those things which are very frightening and things which uh, like to bellow and make noise and, and frighten. You take these things. And then John's wife, Lorna Palmerite, she's very interesting because she does the cute, the beautiful, the sensitive, and many little roles like, there's a scene I'm thinking of in Secret of Nim where Mrs. Brisby finds out how her husband died. Well, those scenes were done by Lorna, and Lorna understood in her heart how those should be acted. Still, just today, while drugging the farmer's cat, dragon. Oh, I, I never knew just what happened. Why did he never tell me about any of you? Why? So casting each scene to the animator that has the right acting ability is part of it. There will always be a slight discrepancy in the graphic art to the trained eye. But I think to the ordinary public, they'll be caught in the story and hopefully they won't notice that.